Week, Valor Christian flying in from Colorado to play Charlotte Christian. We'll have that in a moment, but let's go ahead and start with Butler at Mallard Creek night. You mentioned the rain. Both of their season openers were affected by wet weather, but only the Bulldogs finished their game. They beat Huff. Mallard Creek looking for their first win of the season after a 27 all tie against Dutch Fork. First drive of the night, Dustin Noller finding Elijah Metcalf on the out route. Touchdown Mallard Creek makes it 7 nothing. Butler looking to respond. Parrish Metzer finds a streak from Jarice Alexander across the middle. Gets a nice block. Scoots up the sideline for the first down. But Bulldogs forced to settle for a field goal. Mallard Creek with the rock. Dustin Noller shows off the arm. Airs it out. Metcalf hauls in a great catch. The Mavs breaking out the trick plays. Noller to Pashawn Holmes to Demonte Furman. Touchdown. Mallard Creek led 20-3 at halftime. Mavs making a statement in this one on both sides of the ball. This pass gets tipped, and Jaden Dennis makes the interception for Mallard Creek. Then Dustin Noller shows he can get it done with his legs as well. Nice moves down inside the Bulldogs' 10-yard line. Noller threw for 205 yards and three touchdowns in the first half. Mallard Creek had 430 yards of total offense. They win 33-17. to South Point can clinch the city championship with a win over rival Rock Hill tonight. Bearcats punting on their opening drive, and this one muffed by the Stallions. Rock Hill pounces on it in great field position, but on the ensuing drive, Jordan Mahoney flying in off the edge to block the field goal. It's returned by the Stallions' Dante Johnson. South Point in business. Stallions offense finally moving the ball with some pace. Talik Steele stepping up in the pocket, firing it downfield. Omega Blake hauls it in at the 21-yard line for a first down. Same drive. Steele flushed, scrambling, cuts back, keeps his feet, makes a move, and dives down inside the five-yard line. First and goal. From there, he's rolling left. Little jump pass to a wide open Blake. 7-0 South Point. 7-3 now, Steele stepping up again and again, looking for Omega Blake up and over the defender. 18-yard strike, South Point a winner, 26-15. Now to our game of the week. The Charlotte Christian Knights had a week one win over Sun Valley, but they were facing a tough test tonight. This is Christian McCaffrey's alma mater. Valor Christian has won five of the past seven Colorado 5A state championships. And we saw why. First quarter option keeper Jack Howell over the left side. 18-yard touchdown run. Valor takes a 7-0 lead. Still in the first, the handoff to Gavin Sawchuck. Big hole over the right side. Sawchuck rumbles 40 yards for the score. Just like that, it's 14-0 Valor. Knights without their starting quarterback, J.B. Awolowo in deep in his own territory. Hit, he fumbles. The ball scooped up by Sims Hunter. He's in for the touchdown. It's 21-0. Second quarter now, it's 28-0. Valor, Cole, Bott throwing for the end zone. Pretty ball to Ethan Simpson. 17-yard hookup, they're good. It's 35-0, Valor. Christian going to get on the board with an Awolowo short touchdown run, but he got beat up tonight. Valor wins it 56-6. After the game, the program's most famous alum talked to the team. But you're making all of us proud, man. I really appreciate it, and best of luck this season. I appreciate you guys putting on a show here in Charlotte. I get some bragging rights to, 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 to the state now, so thank you guys, man. I appreciate it, and good luck the rest of the way. Now your votes will decide next Friday's Game of the Week. Your choice, Chester at Rock Hill or Marvin Ridge at Ardry Kell. Vote as many times as you want to on WSOCTV.com. Scroll over the Sports tab and click High School Football.